Hello and welcome to game number two. Well, game number two on stage of a best out of five for the grand finals of the Star Ladder land finals live from Kiev. Uh, well, we are not live, but we are Ten seconds casting remaining. a game that is live from Kiev. That's good enough for us. And I say us because I'm not by myself. Five welcome seconds. back, Winnie. Thank you. So game Ten. number one had a it was a pocket strat, right? We can call it that. Yeah, it was definitely a pocket strat by Mtage. Which were so close to working, but just slightly came out short. Only because of the bad rider, I feel. Mm -hmm. The bad rider had a huge impact that game. I mean, him being able to grip the laundry out of every single fight was probably the key of victory for him. Yeah, no wonder that no time after this time ban out the bad rider. I don't want to be facing that again. Of course, it is going to be Fnatic that has the first pick this game. And, uh, oh yeah, I will finish my, my sentence actually, because uh, it's, it's one to one and then it's on the score, but this is the second game being played, of course. There's a winner's bracket advantage for no Tidehunter who came through the winner's bracket. And, um, we're gonna see, are you expecting another proc strat from someone? Um, I do not, I feel like both of the teams might just play one of her standard games and see how it goes, because it's very even now. And they might want to save the Pog strat for maybe the last game or something like that. Because I definitely feel like Northam is not going to do another pocket strat because they just fail one. And going for another one is... I don't expect they're going to do that. Fnatic on the other side... I don't know. After that convincingly win with her, one of their stable lineups, I think they're just going to go for it again. Try to do a stable lineup and outplay no Northam answer. Yeah, maybe they're gonna even bank on letting the uh, Wisp go through. They ban out the Lone Druid. So they're gonna get either the Wisp or the Nyx. Nyx it is. Um, maybe. Wisp getting banned out. Uh, oh yeah, maybe, because of course last time we saw the Nyx just making it through, right? I and would say that Fnatic is pick? gonna... Pick. I think they're gonna pick up Puck first pick. I have that feeling. They could. Well, we saw, I mean, no Tail plays an amazing Puck, so it would be justified for sure. Yeah, he does play a really, really, really good puck, and Ten seconds yeah, remaining. I think we're gonna pick it up, I speak for or the we pick up Furion, and we're completely wrong. Trixie's Furion is there. We still, of course, have the um, life stealer in the pool as well, and with with the Furion already up on Fnatic, you kind of force no Titans to pick up the life stealer. Otherwise, they're gonna be up against a life stealer and nature's profit bomb, which is very dangerous indeed. So yeah, no time to might just be picking up. Maybe a Nike's Magnus or something? Or Nick's Cottle. Oh. Are you sensing well, what I'm sensing? Phantom Master. From North Island, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, I, I understand it. It's a, it, it can be a winning combo. I say can be because it's not guaranteed. No, but North Island is extremely good at playing out repeal, so... I'm pretty sure if Ten they get the chance off, remaining. chance to it, we're gonna pick up PLS red pick. And Fnatic, they got their signature, Nature's Prophet, and, and they might pick up the Nike bomb you're talking about, and have the Nike Furion bomb, Time. because that is indeed very strong. And if they pick up Nikes and another here, they can even do an aggressive try in against the PL. And they're gonna go for a Magnus Gyrocopter. Basically yeah. already have in their lane sorted and both heroes okay against if there's gonna be a Phantom Lancer. Yeah, this is very smart. I think we suspect that there's gonna be a Phantom Lancer. So if you pick up a Gyro's carry, who is really, really good against PL because he can splash all the illusions. Same thing with Magnus. He has Shockwave and he can he can the cleave doesn't work on Gyrocopter, but the Empower is still gonna help out the flat kind of to create illusions from the PL if it's gonna be a pickup. Yeah, that remains to be seen, thinking about it. It's gonna be the puck though, denying it to Fnatic as they go. Pick. Yeah. So now Fnatic for sure, they are gonna ban out that PL. There is no doubt about it. Because they do not... I I, I mean, Nothunter is very smart. They see the Jerry pickup and they're like, no, PL is just no. I mean, PL is kind of fine against the Jerry but it could also be really bad, so they just think we're gonna pick up a very strong mid puck. We see Fnatic is using it. We don't want to ban it, so we pick it up ourselves because S4 can play a really good puck. 
I'm gonna leave in the Fnatic to ban heroes. Ten Might see if I can last ban still though. Just to be sure. Yeah, I'm pretty Five sure. Seconds I mean, Phantomancer is never fun to play against. He's so hard to kill and so hard to shut down, so... But yeah, we're not banning out yet, so... They might just leave it. I mean, I guess no Thanos, they just need an offlaner and a... Um, and a carry. Pretty simple to ban out against that. And, I mean, with them banning out the Shadow Demon, doesn't it kind of say... You know, counter for the Phantom Lancer 1 out of the pool? Yeah, it 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 does, but it might be I too obvious know. that they want the Phantom Lancer to get banned out so that others can't be banned out. Or am I thinking too far here? No, Phantom Lancer gets banned. Yeah, it might have just been a trick, like oh we're banning out Shadow Demon, so now you need to ban the Phantom Lancer because else we're gonna pick it. I mean, it could be a bait ban, but it shouldn't have that much of an impact. Well, yeah. no tight on their next ban. What else are they gonna try to force out of Fnatic? They're definitely just gonna like eliminate all all of the good supports from Fnatic side. They, I think, I have a feeling they're gonna ban out the Bane. Bane but has been a remaining. lot of problems for them, so. Yeah, you because know, Bane it works great to get out the gyro cups, but then you can like set your clock that Fnatic is gonna ban out the life stealer. Reserve time. Well. Right? Yeah, maybe, but I do not. Actually, I have a feeling that not having to do not want to pick up the next. I mean, yeah, but that would be good then, because then yeah. you force your opponent to, ba to ban something ban. Out that they don't want to play. Oh wow, they ban of the anti mage. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, anti mage was a likely pick for not having it there because they don't really have a lot of shutdown on anti mage. They have right now we have one RP, which is not that much of CC, so. It's not a good man from Fnatic side. Yeah, there's still a lot of supports that work well together with the Magnus though, like Alina and Nejikiro. RP followed up by a lot of AoE spammy thingies. I know, it's a very yeah. professional cast, spammy thingies. <laughs> spammy thingies. No, but... I I wanna see a no Thunder Phantom Assassin. I do not think it's gonna be this game, Ten but seconds. I hope we're gonna get Ten to see him in this series, remaining. because we do it very well, playing that hero. What do you think is gonna Five be this seconds game? Remaining. This game, I'm not entirely sure. I I feel like they, I don't think we're gonna pick up an X. I mean, they might do it and have a like puck next bomb with a blink dagger later on, and that could work extremely well. But they might also just aim for going a void or something like that. Might even see a specter because they've been playing a specter. You're right. So we'll see what we wanna do. They actually played the Spectre against the Phantom Lancer. Do they win it as well? Yeah, because if you haunt, it haunts to the r to the real Phantom Lancer. Oh, that's shaky. I yeah, know. And yeah, we see three really, really strong supporters getting banned out by not telling they're here to prevent Fnatic from having the what I would say the best supporters available. Yeah. I mean, there's still Lena in the pool, which I feel like is a pretty obvious support right now because there's not a lot of them to left but Ten Enchantress is still remaining. in the pool and we might see Fnatic go for the Enchantress but they do a lot remaining. Well Enchantress if you have a Nyx in the pool might not be that ideal though if he levels up fast enough he'll be able to take her down very quickly That is also true but as I said, there's not a lot of supporters left, so we might just see it. What do we have left? A Jikiro? Hey, which is a really good setup with the Magnus. What do you think about Nature's Prophet going into the jungle and them still picking up something on the mid lane and have Magnus offlane or something? Or is that, are you not expecting that? I mean, I think that's not gonna happen, just because of the fact that they have a Nyx and Cottle, which is. which can be put as an aggressive trial and, and if you have a few in jungle and just a jewel in down there, they're gonna get crushed. So I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be it's not gonna be a few in jungle. We're gonna see the Radiant Bulldog Clockwork again and with Bane picked up by uh by Fnatic so that's gonna be a nightmare combination with the Rocket Barrage. 
Still a spot for a, a potential support. Lina Jakiro, probably one of the more obvious supports, but who knows, maybe indeed Enchantress. It's gonna be Lina or Earthshaker. Earthshaker. I'm pretty sure about it. Yeah, I forgot about because that Bay Hani has been playing Bane and Fly has been playing Lina, or Hani, Earthshaker, and Fly remaining. Bane. It's one of these two. I feel Five like. Seconds remaining. I'm not entirely sure what they want to go for. I think Reserve it's time. gonna be an Earthshaker. Just because of the Ten fact that remaining. you don't really want to be a Lina against a Puck. It's hard to hit the spells. Same thing with an Nyx Assassin. If you like. Lina. Oh, they go for Lina, so I am wrong. Dying oh, I was gonna totally back you up because it would have been great with the RP and then Echo Slam to follow up. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, Lina is gonna be the one. I guess it's a bit stronger on the lane with the uh, Light Strike Ray after the Nightmare and then just maybe even an aggressive trail in from them. Uh, it could be, but it's very hard to do an aggressive trial against the Keeper of the Light because the Blast Illuminate is gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very painful. But we might see it because a Gyrocopter Bane Lina remaining. with a Furion tipping in is very, very strong. So, Five seconds it depends if, if No Tyrant picks a weak carry. I think, I mean, such as Void or Spectre, Reserve I think time. Fnatic might just go for an aggressive trial. Let's see it. They only have 40 seconds left. What else kind of carries do we still have in the pool? We have the Luna still, I guess. So there is a Luna. It is a Spectre. It is a Spectre. There it is. You called it. And with this, perhaps, like you said, aggressive trialing could be the one. Uh, but I might just be wrong calling Spectre weak, though. Because when she hits the Desolate, I mean, if you max that out, you hurt if you're alone with the target. So Spectre is... He's kind of weak, but not that weak. I mean, a Void would have been much weaker, and there could have been a potential of aggressive trial now with a Nyx Caudal Spectre. I do not think Fnatic is going to go on an aggressive trial in. I think we're going to head off to have Furin try to do something up top on offline. If he doesn't get anything, he's going to head out to the jungle. I'm going to see it as uh, we see uh, the players also getting Prepare ready to sit down, battle. pick up their heroes. Please don't leave his skin. Well, let's fly being sad. Let's uh, let's take a look at who is playing what as we uh, jump ourselves into the game. Completely with Fly, indeed, on the Lina. Looking sad without any items whatsoever, actually. No, uh, no items whatsoever, okay. Uh, we're gonna have Trixie once again, playing the Nature Prophet once again. He didn't play it, but of course, Trixie's signature hero. We see him play it all the time. Era on his gyrocopter. We're gonna be having Bane played by Honey as expected, and then Lina. We all played by Fly, we missed one, we miss. No tail on the Magnus, so uh, pick the bottle first. Which is, I think, the correct item. I I don't know actually. Thirty seconds. It, to battle. I don't think I've seen this in a long time. Me neither. But it's not that bad against the pack actually. You just want to spam, 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 and try to get to get a rune or something, or just bottle crow. So it's not it's not that bad of a pick up, pick up actually. But yeah. In at end stage we have Aki playing the Coddle, which he has done a lot. And we have EGM playing one of his signature heroes, I would say, Nyx Assassin. Mm -hmm. Loda playing one of his unusual carry Spectre. We have Admiral Bulldog playing the Clockwork, that he does a lot. And we have S4 on the Puck. Oh, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen S4 on the Puck, to be fair. Yeah, but S4's Puck is very, very good. And if he gets a good game, he can make such a big place for NTH that sometimes win, wins them the games. So, I'm looking forward to see his puck. Yep. And oh wow, that yeah. Invis rune might be dangerous. Looking for a nightmare, here they come. Gonna have the shock wave, but I don't think they can do anything with that. Just harassment. No. If the Lina would have come, perhaps. The Lina is busy on the bottom lane. Harassing Bulldog. But it looks like Handy is gonna stick around. And try to uh, make S4's life as difficult as possible. Look at that harassment. Hmm. Where are you expecting it? Because since we don't have an aggressive trail lane, like we have got Bulldog up against a dual lane right now, dual lane mid up against uh, the puck, and a trial lane that's up against nobody because Trixie's in the jungle. Where are you expecting the first blood? I think that if Bane somehow gets behind the clock, we're gonna manage to get a sleep, the first but it's gonna be bottom, but I think Animal Bulldog is gonna sense that and not die, so 
I think the first bud is actually gonna be mid with a snow smoke from NTH side with Coddle and Nyx to try to kill out the Magnus. Fair enough. They, I mean, they, they don't have anything to do top anyway. They don't have a smoke though in their inventories. Yet. You so. shall not. It might, might be a while. We have uh, the rotation from the Bane away again. Yeah, I feel like the first blood is going to be extremely delayed though because none of the teams want to do anything right now. I mean, they want to farm up a little bit, maybe push or something that Entage is doing a top lane right now to force the rotation from the from the Fugirin. And yeah, I think... I'm curious to see how much push Entage can actually pull off here. Double damage! Dangerous location. We do have the same thing as we saw yesterday, I think, with uh, Honey's Bane having boots first. That was yesterday, right? It was yesterday. Yeah. And yeah, I. they want him to be able to move fast, maybe potentially set up again on Clockwork, or maybe just be able to harass the puck without taking too much damage and just running away. Radiant and now we see him heading up the top. And he is probably not going to do anything up here. Well, oh, he's not careful, he might die, but... Yeah, the tower looks to be going down regardless. There is a dagger up on Loda, though, if someone comes. You got yourself a Radiant dagger and a shale and a it might be a recipe for death. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Here comes the Illuminate. And Bill gets stopped by the Nightmare, but he's still there. There goes the dagger. Illuminate still getting dodged, but Hani... I'm not sure what he... Oh, he tried to get the deny. It doesn't matter, though. He's gonna go down. And they saved it. They were safe in the last hit for the Spectre, but the creeps get it instead. Yeah. And yeah, I... Hani tried to go for the deny. Didn't get it. And died. So, unfortunately... I mean, it was a, a very good pickup for NTH. And if, if he would have, if he would have gotten the deny, though, would it really be worth giving first blood for for the deny? Because I know, uh, like, giving a kill for the deny is okay, but first blood. I mean, if you get a deny, you destroy 500 gold because every player only gets 100 gold, and a first blood, I believe, is around 400 gold, 418. So yeah, it is. I think it it is worth it to get the deny. Okay. Well, shamefully for him that he, uh, he failed, as we have got um, Hani continuing to rotate. He is level 2. Can we go yeah. towards the bottom lane, maybe trying to go for him from behind from Bulldog if there's gonna be a push? But until then, <laughs> he's just roaming around doing nothing. Ooh, haste roll. Hello. Haste. And that's gonna be Bulldog in some trouble, and they just proper teeping in with him. Crouch, up, he eats himself out, nice cog, so I'll put some Hanny with him as well though, and the hits just continue, and that's gonna be a nightmare killing him off, Hanny. Hereby, taking revenge, getting himself a kill. And yeah. Getting himself, uh, he didn't even get that much experience for it. That'd be a shame. And one thing that is really going in Fnatic's favor right now is that very often, the Furion, who's kinda seen the jungle and took some of the offlane, is super level 5, well as a bulldog is just sitting level 3, so, so the offlane hero looks very good for Fnatic right now. Well the mid, it's kinda going in the favor of uh, MTH, S4, yeah he's actually a lot ahead of the Magnus right now, he's level 6, Nota is just sitting on 5.5. Yeah, 28 so. for 29 for 7 right now, no till 19 for 1, so a big difference there actually for the mid lane. Especially since the harass. Oh, oh, what? Awkward. Thought he was gonna try to screw him up to the high ground, but I guess with the orb out, he didn't want to waste the mana. Yeah, he, he wanted, I guess, he wanted to do a fake skewer to burn some mana from S4, which it doesn't really matter because he has a bottle incoming and he will be perfectly fine. Yeah, in the meantime, era 31 to 17. Keeping on par with the Spectre though, 28 to 4. With the Puck actually sitting on uh, the same level. I mean, he's just keeping up. And I guess in that sense, apart, yeah, the, the offlane making the difference right now, working in favor of Fnatic. But that's the only one that's, um, that's keeping the gold graph from it spiking up more because it is going in favor of No Tide Hunter, of course, also because of the tower. Still. Yeah, the tower plus the first blood is. A lot of gold for NTH, but I mean, it's just a thousand, a thousand five hundred gold, which isn't that huge in early game. I mean, in the early game, it's all about the experience, and right now, Fnatic is keeping it up. So, 
It's a little bit of favor for NTH right now, but not a lot. Let me see a uh, fly and handy. <laughs> Almost thinking about walking up that high ground. I don't think that would have been a good choice, and they uh, thought the better of it as well. So they room, room uh, back towards mid, where there's just an RP and a score down on uh, the clock, who's gonna be getting himself away. That was a bit of a wasted RP. Nice dream call up on the three, though. Illuminate flying through as well, doing a lot of damage. Actually, here comes the Haunt. Loda gets himself in there. Light Striker Ray misses and flies. It's gonna be the first one to go down. We're gonna see the second one to go down as well. With the Magnus dropping by hand of S4. Two kills going late, no tide hunter. And that was an awkward engagement for Fnatic. Because it was yeah. totally calculated by no tide hunter. We see No Tail doing the RP a little, little bit too early, and the lead Fly and Honey was not really ready for it. And then we tried to go for it still, and then and they just beautifully countered it. So we have a Spectre ulti, illuminated to, to their face, and two heroes going in favor of the Yep, one of the uh, upsides of Spectre. The ulti is fairly low cooldown, I think. I mean, 120 seconds, not that high. Can be in any fight, can come in to just take the last hits with that as well. I mean, he now has got been involved in all three kills by purely being in the mid lane, pressing his ulti once, and then gonna go back top to continue his farm. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing with Spectre. You can be wherever and always be in the team fights if you have the ultimate up, and that's exactly what he's doing. He goes in, he ultimates to mid, participating two kills, and then head up to back to top to farm. And that's exactly what he gotta do with our Spectre. Just be there when you have your ultimate, and then just relax and farm up. And he's looking very rich right now. I mean, he can he can go for a quick radiance or just a quick diffusal. I feel like it's gonna be the diffusal because they wanna go on the aggressive side. I'm trying to think about what he went for last time, but I think at some point he at least went for a radiance, but I don't think it was his first item. So I mean, if sure. if he picks up the diffusal early on, they can be really aggressive with all the heroes from NTH. I mean, if he gets the diffusion around the time when the puck hits his blink dagger, that could be a disaster for Fnatic. Could be. Radiant's top In the meantime, we still see uh, Era continue to farm though. He needs to get his helm of the Dominator up. He is the one that's supposed to be taking on the uh, the Spectre, but I look at the net worth and the difference. I mean, we're eight minutes in, so normally I don't have net worth on right now because the difference is not normally not that much. But it's actually already 1k, and he is now joining the smoke of Honey and Fly, and if he doesn't get anything out of this, it's gonna be a big waste of time. Yeah, I think that they wanna try to kill the Spectre right now. I mean, this rotation... Yeah, they are looking to kill the Spectre, we see them drawing on the map. And, yeah, we see three heroes... I mean, does Pak have a TP? Yeah, Pak has a TP, so this gank can go very wrong. Radiance I mean, if Flora gets his haunt out before, and EGM does Dyer's not go for the rune right now. Yeah, we're gonna see it. Nightmare is gonna start things off. There we go. Nature Prophet Ultimate already bouncing through. Here comes a cold on Light Strike Raid. They do get him. Nicely executed. In the meantime, though, it's not gonna be uh, happy times for everybody. SS4 dodges himself an RP. And a buyback from Loda and a kill for Loda right afterwards on the Magnus with the haunt in. Yay! Yeah, we see like Loda dying, at all. and he had about 2,500 gold when he died, and now he has 2,600 gold. And this is the thing, yeah, you kill Spectre, he buys back the ultis, and yeah, it's really working. The Spectre is really working out for Nature right now. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is giving them a lot of a lot of control and. Normally you'd expect like when I when I hear a Spectre I would think like okay you know what Spectre Radiance late game is under attack. needs time. But this Spectre is level eight and he's already been involved in all five kills that have happened on the side of NTH and yes he's been ganked once but I think that everybody would have died in a situation like that. When yeah. the Fnatic got everything uh, queued up perfectly there and he bought back got himself a kill and I mean this is an active Spectre. It is a very active Spectre, and I think that's the right way to play a Spectre as well. Be very active and be in every single gank with your ultimate. And I mean, NTH is playing it really beautiful. They're not really doing anything until they have the Spectre ultimate. And then, they go for some kills. And Loda is always gonna be there. Yep, doesn't need any babysitter anymore either. With the EGM level 7 right now, looking for something with this Vendata. It's gonna run out before he finds someone though. In the meantime, we have Trixie having a hand of Midas. Went for it straight away before Boots. 
Gonna try to make this game as late as possible to be able to get the max out of that one and probably wants to try and go for a bit of split push there as well. Yeah. I I mean the supporters from Intage, EDM is looking at level seven. He has mana boots and he looks very rich. Same thing with Aki, he's levels oh. No chill. Gonna be trying to score up into the high ground. Can't do it though. It looks like he is gonna be not living for long. There we go, guys in the hands of Trixie. Honey. Or sorry, just for running himself away. The Illuminate will still fly, but that's gonna be Tower almost going down as well. And no Tidehunter. Looking a lot stronger than in their first game. Yeah. And I feel like Fnatic really needs the level 6 on Lina and Bane. Because this is really hurting him right now. But for support, he's not level 6. We do not have the useful spells and a be beautiful deny from Honey at mid tower. Yep. And then a Fiend script will definitely indeed make a difference, especially up on Loda as well. He can just be in fights then. The only downside is that when Spectre haunts and he is like in the middle of a team fight already or something like that, there's gonna be so much chaos because you don't really know for sure which one is the right one, or at least that, that would be my issue. Normally as a caster, I'm also looking for, you know, checking out who is the, who is the real one. Yeah. And this you gotta pay so much attention to see which is the real one and get the ultimate out but the thing is even if you ult is the real one there's gonna be so many illusions around and so much chaos going on so he might just die before he gets his ult out from full cap capacity no. gonna have no time to getting a bit uh, advantage on the gold 3k right now with the experience graph going towards the 3k as well not um, not a difference yet that Fnatic should be attack. really worried about, but it looks to be uh, going no tide hunters way, and I feel like it is not even no tide hunters prime time yet for their gameplay. Uh, with Loda indeed picking up the relic, <coughs> so go for radiance first, and we'll probably have that soon. I think this is actually radiance a fun pickup. They are so much attack. far ahead. Like, they have a lot of map control. If he gets a relic, he's gonna boost his farm for sure. And so he's opting for that, and then after that, he can go for the Diffusion and Manta style. So, or maybe, maybe even just Diffusion and Heart. So, and he's not, he's not weak with a Radiance here in the fight. Like, the Radiance is gonna be very strong. Especially if those supports are gonna stay on the level, I mean, they're just gonna get burned to death. But, I mean, if he haunts once, Lina and Bane will probably be very low on life already just from that hunt without any extra. Yeah, it's gonna be a big trouble for Fnatic. I mean, and there's not a lot they can do about it. When Spectre haunts, Fnatic is gonna have a hard time. And look at Fnatic top, Bane top. Yeah, he has got that Fiend script waiting for uh, his Magnus to come out of as well. Here we go, getting the Fiend script. Never mind, TP in. Actually, it's gonna, he's still gonna go for it. Or is he? No, not gonna go for it. The TP comes in, the Haste Rune gets uh, used to get himself out of there. The dagger still hits, doesn't matter. Haste Rune won't be doing anything. And that is gonna be, um, I think, a wise decision from Fnatic to not yeah. go on that. It's a wise decision of them not going, but there was a little bit of miscommunication between Hani and Notail. We see Magnus going super far into the tower, RPing the Spectre, and then Hani was not there to follow up. Yeah. I mean, it's either go and try to get the kill with both of the heroes, or just not go at all. So, it's a slight mistake by Fnatic there, which won't cost him too much. And actually, didn't he do the RP? He cancelled it? He didn't hit the RP, yeah, he didn't try oh. it. So, I am a little bit wrong. It's no harm done. No harm done. And, and a lot of, <clears throat> well, chaos maybe created, a bit, a bit of chaos created by No Tide Hunter. No, but they now realize that Spectre is going to be the target, so he's going to be maybe a bit more careful. We might see some more wards coming out. As for now, on the top lane, it's only wards from Fnatic hanging out there. Uh, though, of course, uh, No Tide Hunter, they have got their wards. On, but, uh, wow, there seems to be a rage for No Tide Hunter in the enemy jungle. They just cleared it out. Yeah, Completely. which is which is exactly what we should do, because Spectre, he's having a lot of fun in his own jungle and just farming up. While if and then if yeah, MTH takes up. the enemy jungle, Spectre can be there. So they are they are basically one in their own jungle and five in the enemy jungle because he can haunt whenever and just be there. So it's a very smart move in the the thing MTH want to do right now. And Fnatic, there's not a lot of uh, Fnatic can do about it. Oh, Loda. Taking a lot of damage, and uh, it, it, I think he has been spotted by the Nature's Prophet. He is having the recipe of the relic. 
probably waiting for the courier to be in the base. Actually, no, picks it up already, just in case there would be uh, someone TPing, but it's gonna be fine. Let's get some self salve from his teammates. Well, that's gonna be him in uh, safe hands once more. We almost have a big dagger for no tail. And that's gonna be making a difference. Trix in the meantime has got treads, not really that much else. I'm just checking if we missed any items. We have got the BKB being built by the gyro. He's got the Mithra Hammer already, he's got the gold for the Ogre Club if he wants to have it. Probably wants to only buy it when he has everything at the same time though. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah. We see the Ooh. Bulldog hooks himself in. Trixie trouble. Trixie dead. And that is the haunt being used. Loda looking for a kill. Misses the dagger though. Can't be chasing that no tail. Oh my god, that rhymed. Did you hear that? I did not. I'm so sorry. Loda lands a dagger looking for no tail. Or looking for a kill. Or lands a dagger, but he doesn't hit no tail. That's <laughs> something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at Fnatic Fly, who off the red hunt had 200 HP left. Oh lord! Just from the hunt. Oh. Middle and that has is been denied. that is very. That that's not what you want as a support. And, and that I mean, is time to buy yourself more bracers. Yeah, Trace. bracer or an urn oh, or just something. <clears throat> and I mean, before all of this happened, we saw a little smoke from Intage, and we saw the Coddle blocking the ancient spawn of Fnatic, so the gyro will not be seen to get some stacks anytime soon, and we see top. Oh, Phoenix Grim, Nyx, Trouble, Pops is by Karif is helping out, Impale up on two, this is Trouble all of a sudden for Fnatic, and that's gonna be an RB trying to help out as four goes down, who can misses? It is gonna be Fnatic running away from the neutrals, gonna be able to do that, Illuminate is gonna be trying to still pick them off. Might be successful if they're not careful, actually they are careful. He's gonna not even hit no tail, as there is C-Fly getting hit by the dagger. And with this dagger, maybe... Oh my god, if you don't hit a hunt! 30 Dyer's seconds! Courier has been killed. Wait, that's nice. That's gonna be, um... Nature's Prophet doing. Picked up the courier. I think it was Nature's Prophet. Did you see that, where it happened? Ooh, I did not see it, and... I'm looking at Fnatic, and I see double courier. Oh... I mean, the Nyx died Indian still, but he got denied by a neutral. Attack. Wow. That's huge. So that fight is actually not that good for Fnatic. I mean, mm -hmm. sure they get to pick off. They got Puck. They got Puck. But they got the Puck. Mm -hmm. They used... Well, it's a good pick off for them. And they still they still get the gold for the, when EGM dies to the neutrals. So it's actually... It's very good for Fnatic. They needed to just make something happen and they lost. I believe they lost nothing for it. They lost nobody, no. Just a lot of HPs. Which, I mean, it came so close, but the RP saved the day. And that was really, that was really no tail, just damage control. And that was the best damage control that it could have done. Yeah. And we see EGM keeping track of Fnatic's side. And, oh wow. No, that's himself. Trixie, that's gonna be a nightmare trying to help out. Perhaps Haunt being put to work, though. Uh, not gonna be going towards, uh, towards... Trixie anyway is gonna be going towards uh, whoa the rest or Loda in some trouble now Dream Call up on no tail cooldown coming down era looking for a pickup looking for a target looking for EGM finds him kills him Haki trouble fiends grip up on S4 gonna be going down there we go double kill for era can he make it a triple bulldog getting himself away from the cogs Loda though staying alive 1200 uh, 1200 gold in his inventory and his HP not something to write home about but he'll be fine two for one trade yeah, and we see in this fight, who looks chaotic, there's so strong individual plays from all the players. I mean, Fnatic, Honey managed to grab the puck, I believe, with his ultimate and brain sap, and yes, there's so many Dyer's good plays. Admiral Bulldog attack. saving his life by doing a cog, pushing everybody away, Trixie, man Trixie managing to survive. I feel like Slo Loda did a slight misplay there, he could have tp to Furion and his yeah. dagger can push them instantly. I was gonna ask that because it looked because like, I was having my mouth my, my camera there already thinking he would go there. And then everything got messed up with my camera work because he didn't and Awkward. Yeah. So the Furion survived and then the Jaru had his BKB up and they just managed to pick up two kills from Entage and yeah. I feel like Fnatic is doing a little comeback here. They looked pretty bad just a moment ago, but now we see the experience graph and the gold graph closing into zero. Yeah, going back towards that line and, and the net worth, more importantly, ERA, is actually higher than Loda right now. 
He hasn't died yet. He is 3 to 0 to 1. He's got a BKB. He's got himself a Heaven of the Dominator. He's looking sharp. And this is when they are two towers down. Whoa. That would not be pulled from the gold graph. Yeah. And Fnatic right now is two towers behind. Are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They are. You're right. All two so... towers down on the side of Fnatic. And they so do have a fair pushing lineup. If they get a fight, they can push fairly fast. So they will get those towers at some point, one way or another. So they will get that gold. Whoa, that was a TP score wasted by Trixie. Oh, the hunt, just to realize where everybody is. We see t Fly and, and, and Honey, those HPs. It is so, so tri tricky. Fly, down to half HP. Just, by, just like that. Yeah. I feel like... When I degree, we need a mech or an urn soon because after that spec ultimate, they need they need to keep their HP higher. Yeah, they need something to come back. Mechanism is it being built by someone though? TP's out in mid lane. Is that the push continued by uh, Fnatic? While well, the push continued on the top lane for um, well, vice versa. Push continued for no tight until while the push continued for Fnatic as well on the top. So they did pick up the tower top. They don't lose the tier two mid. That's good. And yeah, this this pick up, this tower pick up from Fnatic side is just exactly what we need. We need to pick up a power. They, they picked up the tower and we didn't lose anything for it. So Fnatic is looking very strong right now. I mean, MTH is still hanging there. I mean, they still have a really really strong lineup, and we see Fury on top. Oh, he's in some trouble. He's gonna be hit by the cogs. Hit by Loda. Hit by Robot. Goes down. Good pick up. Stop the split push for a bit. I guess yeah. it's a bit ballsy to go try and for a split push. I guess in general. Oh, wait a second. Also, has four in some trouble, but he is going to be making himself out of there, even with the RP. But the Fiend Scrip is still there. Coming to help out, and S4 is the one that goes down still, with two ulties being used to take him down. And then the mid lane. Can people stop dying everywhere? EGM just died, or just killed off Fly, because he could. Yeah, he managed to pick up Fly in the first. And I mean, Fani having a, such a great position after that. Blink skewer back with Puck to the tower. He realized P Puck is gonna orb here. He stands there, waits for him, and just fiends grip him. So, really big plays by Honey there. Uh, Honey no tail. Yeah. Combination of gold. Pick up, picking up the Puck. Do you think the use of two ultis is worth for it still? What did you say? Sorry? Do you think the use of the two ultis is still worth, for it, worth it? Because, of course, I mean, they used and the RP and the fiends grip just for one Puck. I definitely think it's worth it because. I do not see MTH being to do anything while these ults are on cooldown. I mean, they don't really want to push a tower, because I don't think they can. I mean, they still have the, the gyrocopter BKB and it's really hard to push against, and just blink screw somebody back and they can be a lot of trouble. And MTH can't really go Roshan because they don't have the damage, like Spectre is good at dealing damage to heroes, but on Roshan, he's actually very bad. So, the two gold is for one hero, for a puck, it's definitely worth it. Oh, we're gonna see maybe uh, Fnatic looking for a fight, place down a sentry, see instantly the other sentry. Gonna be too late to scout at EGM though, he's already on his way out. Vendetta on cooldown and everything. Five heroes from Fnatic looking for something. They feel like they're ahead probably with the fight and they want to search for it, they want to look for it. Yeah, maybe drag and I, re hunt. I really love to see this. Free brace to pick up from Honey. He has 1,400 HP as a support. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, I, yeah. He never. He doesn't go for the magic bombs ever, and he just goes for these bracers. I mean. But with the Spectre, I feel like he has to, because yeah. we, we see we saw Fly. He only has one bracer, and that's not cutting it. Oh, Fiend's Grip gonna not get the casted anymore, cause gets interrupted. Nice RP though, but the Cogs. It is too much cold on coming down. Era trying to do what he can. We have Bane already picked up. Bulldog is on trouble, but Era chasing him down. And BKB now run off. Still gonna be going for Bulldog. As uh, on the back end of things, Spectre picks up Alina with EGM going down as well. Now also, it is gonna be Era that drops, and that is gonna be only one left alive. Only Trixie left up alive, and he is on the top lane. That is four for two with a very messy five. Loda coming in on the back end of things. I don't like casting a Spectre, I think, because I have no idea where he TPs to. But yeah. he TP'd to fly and picked him off, basically. And I mean, Dyer's middle we tower see is under attack. Honey initiating with the Fiend script when they don't see like they don't see any heroes on the map. So it's a very dangerous, it's a very dangerous ult there. And yeah, 
and Sage responded correctly, blinking in a puck, ulting, silencing. The cog was there, Spectral was there, and the damage was just too much for Fnatic to handle. And yeah, Fnatic losing a fight very hard right now, and this... I mean, Fnatic is still ahead, but this is what NTH needs. They need to have a really, really fat Spectre who can... I mean, the only hero they have in late game who's going to deal a lot of damage is probably Lola. Yeah. Clockwork is there for CC. Nyx Assassin deals a lot of damage, but Coddle is not, is, his Illuminate is not going to be that significant. Puck is just going to do his spells to keep them, keep them in the same place. And so Loda needs to get really, really fat. And right now, we look at him, and he soon has a heart of Thrask. Oh, well, he is going to be almost having that done. I kind of, I kind of love the combination of the blinding light and the cogs there, because Bulldog was locked inside with everybody that got hit in the RP, and it was a good RP by the Magnus. Oh yeah. But then comes the blinding light; it knocks everybody out of the cogs, and basically the cogs are a safety net for everybody that got hit inside, and and there could not be any follow up. Exactly. The cog is really making a difference in these fights because you you can't fight around a cog. You will get pushed back, your mana will be drained, you will take damage, and it's just it's very it's hurting Fnatic a lot. Sentry wards picked up by Hani, trying to counter that Nyx assassin. We have an MKB up on Era, who is still ahead on the network, like you said, bottom but tower is under attack. he has to have that setup. And and just previous fight, I think we can. I mean. That didn't look like the normal Fnatic. They they re re were really trying to force something out that, I don't know, it felt a bit too pushed. It felt a little bit stressed out. I feel like they should have waited with that fight a little bit. At least trying to get a pick off and then get a tower. Because this felt like they were trying to force a fight. And by forcing the fight, they put themselves vulnerable. They were very vulnerable and just managed to lose a fight. So I... Now, I think Fnatic is going to play on the defensive side and just wait for a mistake from the NTH. And let's farm up their Jero in the meantime. Maybe that he can also have himself uh, perhaps a buyback, as we also have Loda, of course, still farming. I mean, he is going to be that unkillable force that everybody doesn't like and does still a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. He is going to have his heart really soon ready. And I mean, like you already said, he can just farm and, you know, not care about what his team is doing, not care about where his team is, but as soon as someone calls, hey Loda, we have a fight, oh, okay, press R, welcome to the fight, Loda. Exactly. And that's the beautiful thing with Spectre. You are so mobile, the others of the team, they can go four heroes on one lane, and then, yeah, suddenly the fire, we load ultimates. Where did the puck go? Oh, there it goes. Um. They were trying to go for an RP upon S4. It was cancelled in time, but still. Oh, AGM walking past the sentry ward. Era seeing him. Trouble pops a BKB, calls down, realizing he came for him. And that was uh, very aggressive. We also have the hump going off. No kill already getting picked up. S4 getting a light ray and feast grip though, but Loda, he is just killing it. And he can just pick up fly with a burn damage there. Era going down. S4. Hey, 3 HP alive, doesn't matter, it's easy. With again, the only one surviving is Trixie because he's on the top lane, he's pushing. Dyer's middle tower is under oh my god, this fights. I mean, Hani did a beautiful Phoenix repair and we saw Admiral Lula just waiting for them and hooking him, interrupting it. And yeah, NTH just cleans up everything basically. I mean, I feel like they saw EGM running in like that and yeah. Eros BKB and trying to kill the Nyx Assassin, I feel like that was a slight mistake because he now he missed his ulti completely and he didn't do any damage with it and he didn't really hit any targets of NTH. I mean, he didn't even do damage to EDM. By the time that he came um, to the actual fight where Loda was bashing on all the supports and burning them to death, he had no BKB anymore and he just got picked up real fast. Yeah. So yeah, this is looking very, very good for NTH right now. We're gonna see Bulldog building towards the Aghanims by the looks of it. Let's see if we can find some more items. Ghost Scepter's up on the two supports, EGM and Aki having those. Joe, hey! Sheepstick, S4. Just got it complete. That's actually very huge to have these bo both of the supports of NTH having Ghost Scepters. Because they really need it, and I mean... Fnatic supporters, they're not even close to having Ghost Scepters, which they really need against Loda. They're because they're if they don't get the Ghost Scepters, they will have tr problems. Yeah. We see Lina being concerned with races as well, she's got herself a second one. But they've been dying so fast, it's... 
It was really tough. You would even say attack. maybe even treads, but yeah, ghost yeah. would probably be uh, <laughs> quite re quite well received right now. Staying alive against a specter, just being able to just run away from it, up the ghost scepter. But the thing about a specter will with a diffusion blade is that it can diffuse blade a ghost scepter. So a ghost scepter mm -hmm. might just be a bad pickup here. And the fusible blade level two is there already in the inventory as well. As fanatic smoke up, going uh, with five people top. There's uh, only EGM hanging around there. He's probably not going to be there for long, and he's going to be running into Fly. Light Strike Ray is not going to get casted. They realize that Fly put the ward there, though. And to be fair, like if you see Alina in your jungle by herself warding, are you going to expect that she's there by herself? There is no way there sh she's there by herself. No, oh, here comes EGM looking for Fly. No till. A hook in misses. That's a small comfort. No till. Scooring away, we have got Loda somewhere around here. Is he gonna be haunting towards the target? Yes, he is. And he's gonna be right behind Fly. Well, that's gonna be a kill that he can do every single time this way. Just haunted. Uh, TP in. Boom. Fly dead. That's that's a good pick off from Entage side. I feel like there was a little bit of hesitation from EGM side. He could have stunned the Magnus immediately, and Loda could have they could have killed him as well. But now he has to do it a little bit. They miss the stun, and they also missed it. Clockwork hook. So even if they get a good pick up, they get a Lina kill and Fnatic gets nothing. I feel like they could have gotten a little bit more out of that. No. So Fnatic dodging that, but it's gonna retief. And yeah, they just need. I feel like Fnatic's only hope in this game might be a Desperation Divine. Oh, that's so sh such a shame because I feel like they have got a very strong lineup. Oh, Dream Call, no tail, gonna get caught out here. He's gonna think about an RP there. Oh, getting silenced up, can't do it, goes down. Here comes Loda. Uh, Loda is stuck actually, can't do anything. There's still gonna be EGM that goes down. Gem is on the floor, S4 is in the trouble. Loda can't do anything. He's stuck. <laughs> That's gonna be the trouble. Oh, there he goes. There's a dagger. Now he can go for Hera. Hello, Hera. The fusel blade. Shouldn't have hung around. S4 coming in as well. Rock Barrage not gonna hit S4 anymore. As Fly tries it, but he can't to load it. Loda actually going down. The Rock Barrage and the Laguna Blade doing too much. And now it's Aki that they want and Aki that they get as well. Good combat fight from Fnatic. Basically, purely because Loda getting stuck in some awkward trees. Yeah. Loda getting stuck in these trees. Make an Entage is still trying to fight it without Loda. Everybody of Entage's team get low, or I saw we saw EGM falling, dying very quickly, and then everybody from Entage was pretty low. So we see Clockwork teeping home, and then Loda decides to go into a fight, which I think was a huge mistake because they didn't have any follow up. No, and the only uh, one that he was there with was Puck, and she exactly. was like a, a zillion little little tiny bit of HP. And you shouldn't things. underestimate. Gyro's damage. I mean, Rocket Barrage was him hitting Spectre. Spectre dies very fast. Like, Spectre is not really supposed to kill the other the enemy carry. He's more aimed to kill all of the supports and other weak heroes in Fnatic side. So, him trying to go on Gyrocopter, and I think that was a huge mistake. Didn't work out as intended, for sure. He's got 2400 gold though. But Fnatic with that fight, keeping themselves in the game. Gold graph goes to be a, a bit up against the towards the 2,500 with the experience graph. Well, going towards the 8k, I mean the difference is still pretty big, I guess. But if we look at the level difference, most of the difference is going to be in that Lina is still level 9. Because she died very often and she doesn't want to be too much in fights. And the Spectre is level 21. Yeah, it's... That's only 12 level difference. No, but that's actually huge. I mean, Lina is basically a free kill to Spectre right now. Yeah, every time he haunts, he, he can teleport in and get one last hit in. And maybe even at some point he doesn't even need that. He can just haunt and he kills her. Yeah. When, when Loda gets... Whoa! Loda gets an RP and the scorer actually misses. Isn't that yeah, a shame? I, I think... It's wise that that skewer missed, because if that skewer hit and Loda press haunt, it could have been a disaster for Fnatic, because every player from Entage side was around that area, and if Entage were to take a fight there with a solo RP on the Spectre, I feel like Fnatic would have lost that fight. So the RP is, the RP misses, Entage responds is, let's go Roshan, and yeah, this fight, Fnatic can't take it. They cannot win this fight, so they are trying to get some special 
try to spit push as much as possible, try to get some fun. Yeah, they still have a tier 1 to take down the bottom lane, by the way. I haven't been able to get any other towers in there, therefore still two towers behind with the gold graph being fairly even if you count in those towers. But without it is. Aegis, is, is still Lola gonna pick up the Aegis? That's the question. Looks like uh, he is. No TP score, but he doesn't need a TP score, he can just haunt himself into stuff. Yeah, play. that's true. I mean, he doesn't I, I feel like Spectre doesn't really need an Aegis because he can buy back and haunt, but the thing is, who do you give the Aegis to if not Spectre? It's not a hero you want to have an Aegis on, except the Spectre. So picking up the Aegis on Spectre is a wise choice. I'm just checking if there's someone who died like more than others. It may, might be EGM, but even he has not died that often. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a good one. As I see that, it's, it's no tail that actually is 0 to 7 to 5, with Fly sitting on 0 to 6 to 5. Yeah, these supporters... Is not happy. Nope. But she did make it level 10. Fly. Yep. Yay. And she needs level 2 ultimate as soon as possible to try to insta kill one before the fight happens. I mean, she can't really kill with level 2 ultimate, but that damage boost is 200. And, how much is this? 225 extra damage? can be deciding in a fight, yeah, I mean to yeah, kill a target. We just saw in the previous uh, fight in the bottom lane when when actually Loda went down, that Laguna Blade did a lot even though Fly still died afterwards. The Laguna yeah. Blade definitely made a difference, so level 2 would, yeah, would make a difference. We have, however, got no title to thinking they're gonna be doing uh, more than just farm. They actually have a Loda here as well, so no haunting. He'll have a haunt for her to use in the fight should he need it. Uh, looks like they're gonna be trying to push this here already be forced back into their base. We're probably gonna see Trixie rotating into his own base again soon as well. Maybe he's gonna be trying to push the top lane a bit more, maybe force him back some TPs, but I'm not sure if he can do that. That's by the way the uh, Spectre having, uh, well, enough money for the heart, but not buying it just yet. 4500 yeah. gold, and it's it's the um, Satanic by Era. Yeah, here if, I mean, Fnatic feels like they w they want to go late game with this item build. They do not want to do a Desperation with Divine because I feel like Spectre, he, she actually scales off into the late game. I mean, she is really good in the mid game with a Diffusal, maybe a Heart and a Radiance, but then later on, the other characters such as Gyro would be much better and that's RP mid. That kind of missed. No till gonna be a turn to low ground. Takes Loda with him though, not the one that you wanna have next to Fly. Fly is gonna indeed be the target. Gonna be going down. Nice nice like race steal the Loda. Taking a lot of damage. Can't haunt himself up, but has got himself an Aegis. Gets popped though. EGM in a lot of trouble as well. Not even more because he goes down first. EGM joins him in death though. Buyback from the Bane. Wants to be here again. Era gonna be trying to turn around. Going for Spectre again. Gonna pop up the Nightmare X to try to save his life. And Era, his Satanic not gonna be enough to keep him up. He goes down, and that is three to a one. And I say three, but uh, there were actually uh, there was a buyback, so it's four to one. Oh, and it's gonna be uh, soon five. Oh, actually that was Trixie picking up the fuck wrong side. Trixie gonna be going down for it though, and that was a team wipe overall. Yeah. Magnus missing his RP completely and Entage is just punishing him for the mistake. Yeah, it's the I second mean, time that he missed it, it's kinda sad. It's unfortunate that he misses it and there's actually nothing his team can do to survive after he misses that RP. So a pretty huge mistake by Noito there and Entage capitalizing on it fully. I mean... Oh, Fiend's grip up on lowdown, let's see if they can have enough damage. Ooh, hook in again from Bulldog, like, like you said previous time. Doing the exact same loader though, still taking a lot of damage. Life Strike Array also hit, but there's no damage to follow up. Fly goes down, it is Bane that drops again, and he already bought back. Now No-Tail in a lot of trouble, gets a Vendetta, gets an Impale, gets killed off. Dominating Loda already after already, of course. Well, dying on that bottom lane and still getting so many kills afterwards. Another team wipe. Well, I say another, but Era never got back up after that first one, I guess. Tier 3 Talon. Gonna get picked up. There is no fortification. I love to see how spec, how Loda is saving his ultimate. Even if, even if he's very low and he can get some kills for his ultimate, he's just waiting for it because if he dies, he's gonna buy back and haunt. Yeah, he has got the so. gold for it still. Even after picking up the heart, that's gonna be brought towards him. Era dies again. That's gonna be GG. Or is it? 
I mean, I think it's at least gonna be two sets of racks. Or Antage is, yeah, Virya's gonna back off. Playing it safe. It is, I, I mean, we didn't really, really talk about that, but that is, I mean, $4,000 different this we're talking about. Yeah. Which is, can be a huge factor. And that gem attack. is. Boom. Oh. That's a tree hunt that got him. Which hunt? And Trixie. Being out of position. Yeah, gonna be going Three. down. Top tower is Cannot attack. TP. Three. Cannot Turns live. To and that's gonna be 4,600 gold for S4. Yeah, he tried to snipe the career. He failed. And he dies for it. And now he's gonna sit. He's gonna be dead for 70 seconds. And oh wow, an illusion rune illusions. for Spectra. More illusions. How annoying. And 5k gold still. And indeed, I yeah. was wondering why he was saving that hunt, but if he was expecting to still at some point die and buy back, I mean, three lives to take down from that Spectre? That's so tough. It is tough. And yeah, I Fnatic is re sitting on the downside now. And we might see Jair try to farm up Divine, a Desperation Divine. Well, he is having a long road to go because he doesn't have any gold right now, and he already, of course, used his. Uh, or he, he doesn't have buyback either, so. Yeah. He didn't use it either, so he didn't really have any gold to begin with. His farm is really not going to be as impressive, and I think that no Tidehunter is looking to pressure and just, you know, continue pressure until that at least Rhoda was able to buy back because, you know, he has the gold anyway. Oh, Fly being turned into a pick already gets a uh, dagger to go with it. Nightmare actually helping him out slightly with an RP, this time up on two, Scoor to his rest, but actually out of the cooldown. Still gonna be Puck that goes down, Lina though getting picked up as well, and now Era trying to keep himself up with the Satanic, able to pick up EGM, can he do more though? No he cannot, goes down, Spectre gets himself the kill, Loda gonna be able to pick up Hany as well, Momo hit, boom, there he goes, it's a double kill, he haunts himself or gets himself out of that, gonna go for Trixie as well, and it is gonna be as fourth that picks it up, and that is gonna be the GG. What is this nature you speak of? Yeah. Some beautiful fi fighting power from NTH here. They are just so much stronger at this point, so them winning the fights is not very surprising. But we're doing... We're, ba we're jumping in the puck, dealing some damage to Lina, make Fnatic waste some spells, while the rest of the team is hitting the racks. And then, Magnus needs to do an RP, else Radiant we're gonna lose the racks. And if we do an RP, unfortunately miss the cooldown, and they don't have... Even if Era fought strong and tried to satanic himself up, they didn't have the damage to bring anybody from Entage down. So yeah, Entage convincingly taking this win. Yep, and getting the score on to 2-1 to one with the best out of 5, so need to win uh, one more. No Tide Hunter, need to win two more, we're gonna see it. We're gonna see game number th 3 slash 4. Yeah. Am I saying that right? I... Like, it will be game number three that we see, but it will be game number four on the score. Exactly. Right. That is right. It's a little bit mind-blowing, but it's right. Yes. Cool. And I will need a drink, so I'll go be right back again. Okay, that is fine. We will jump ourselves into the next game. Don't go anywhere. Gonna be having more Dota 2 coming up in just a second. Again, no Tidehunter ticking off Fnatic. Should be a good one, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 